Hi, this is Tom McMillan of the Weed One Association with the Weed One Bite of the Week. One of the most hotly debated issues is whether student athletes should control the commercial use of their name, image, and likeness. This is often referred to as the NIL right or the right of publicity. We polled our 130 ADs on this issue. We found out that 79% of our ADs were in favor of giving their student athletes the right to use their name, image, and likeness for non-athletically related pursuits. For example, if the student athlete is involved in modeling, acting, or another artistic pursuit. But only 26% of our ADs were in support of giving the student athletes the right for athletically related pursuits. Why this discrepancy? Well, the first reason is because our ADs would be concerned about recruiting abuses. Let's say car dealer Lummis gives all the prospective recruits new cars for appearances at the dealership as an inducement. That's the kind of abuse our ADs would be concerned about. Secondly, the NCAA has been traditionally opposed to any kind of NIL payments because such payments would violate the core principle of not providing benefits to student athletes in excess of their college education. This is also complicated by current litigation in the California courts about whether to pay student athletes. And finally, there's concern about the execution of such a program. How do student athletes balance their education demands with appearances and endorsements? Many have even suggested limiting this program to only academically qualified student athletes. And finally, making sure that the companies involved are legitimate and acceptable. But notwithstanding all these concerns, many observers feel this is the one area of the amateurism model that needs modification. One possible solution is to set up an independent voluntary clearinghouse, whereby the licensing staff from such a clearinghouse would negotiate on behalf of all the student athletes, much like they do in the pros. As a matter of fact, as a former NBA player, I'm part of the NBA group licensing program, and I get benefits for endorsements and appearances from that program. The good news about this is there'd be no Title IX concerns, it would limit the kinds of abuses, and wouldn't require cuts to other sports and programs because the money would be coming from outside the university. But the truth is that with such a program, very few players would have the name recognition to profit in any meaningful way. Researchers indicate this might be only 50 players out of 500,000 student-athletes in a given year who would profit from this. But taking this step to help elite student-athletes, like Olympic athletes can do today with their name, image, and likeness, might help reduce the ever-growing pressure to pay student-athletes, and that would undermine the whole college sports model. That is our bite of the week.